once I saw the collection, I thought about the girls in the clothes and the hair that Guido's doing, which is like a little bit kind of like punky plaits. There's a bit of kind of ninja manga anime influence in the clothes, mixed with some sportswear. And they have a set for the first time. Usually Mark by Mark doesn't have a set. So this is almost like skate ramps, plywood kind of. And that's why they're dragging the girls off for an hour rehearsal. So we're going to be. So black liner, tons of it, cream line it in the waterline, upper and lower of the eyes, really scrubbing it right into the base of the lashes and then following with tons and tons and tons of black mascara, doing the eyes first, cleaning up the skin if necessary, doing a little bit of cover up where it's needed, lip balm, currently no powder, nothing on the cheek, nothing on the lid. Sketching in a couple of the eyebrows on some girls, but um, that's not really part of the look. It's mostly just the little impact of this tight black eye. Working with Mark and the team, and they showed me the quite sophisticated clothing, and I just felt it needed a bit of offness, a little bit of character for, you know, the clothes aren't sweet, they're quite sophisticated. So this kind of young hair sort of sends it somewhere else. It was inspired by Ninja and Manga and Wednesday Adams and, you know, tough girls, not sweet girls. So I've been part of the team for about, I think it's 12 years this year. And in the beginning of the year, I was in discussion about taking on this role and I decided to do it because I thought it was like an incredibly insane opportunity for me to take. And I needed a partner in crime and I asked Luella if she would be it and she gladly she accepted and we kind of took it from there. It's a real privilege, I love it. You know, it feels like it's a, a very collaborative company and a very cool company, and Mark's always been a hero of mine, so it was a no-brainer, really. I love it. We sat around her kitchen table and came up with ideas she created about 10 different collections we went from there and then that's what we've ended up with out there it's, we're quite pleased <laughs> We wanted to create a different spirit and an attitude and we've created it in gangs of girls basically and in different tribes. References came from all over the place, it wasn't anything in particular, I mean there were some things the sport and the ninja and the motocross and the BMX and the kind of Japanese culture and youth culture and all of that mixed with the Mark girl and the spirit of who she is and what we're trying to achieve. We needed to create a new, a new version of that. I mean, the big news, he's back. And in a way, by Jacobs leaving Vuitton, he actually ended up getting what he always wanted, which was serious investment, capital investment in his own brand, because Arno himself just said at the LVMH annual shareholders meeting that they're very ambitious for an IPO of several billion dollars. And in order to do that, they need to keep growing the business. And you can see this is huge capital investment. You can see there's an optimism and a self-assurance, the very fact that Mark Jacobs sat in the front row and let the two ladies, Willa Bartley and Katie Hillier, take the, the bar, I thought was gentlemanly and indicative of a, 
uh, self-assurance in the future, and most relevantly, the clothes were really good. Marked by Mark Jacobs. That was the hit this week. In a way, the most interesting collection we've seen so far. It's certainly the most original and plausible. And in a season where everyone is genuinely making winter clothes, because a lot of the time you come to this, the season in New York and the clothes don't really look like they're for winter. Because lots of them go in the store in June anyway. But they made these kind of protective, bound up clothes, alpine looking, practical boots that you could imagine wearing in these, you know, streets. But that, they look new. Pretty impressive. I think lots of people came back and they were like, yeah, that's, you know, it's strong. And some of my sort of girlfriends are kind of like, who don't necessarily like going to fashion shows, were like, yeah, I kind of feel like I can go to a fashion show and it's fine and it was, you know, for a better word, that sort of girl power and a bit kind of, a, you know, stronger and more independent and I was very excited when people came back and said that. I was very pleased that people took that away from it. With help from Mark and a lot of help from all the incredible people that we work with in the team and I mean it's a big machine you can't just be incredibly creative and do whatever you like there's a lot of negotiation with some things but I think that maybe we won't have to negotiate as much now. Hey. <laughs>